Garnell, this decision yeah. comes down on Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. Yeah. Did it surprise you? Um, I guess I guess you could say it's a surprise just because it's taken so long. And so all of a sudden we were summoned and the decision was, was shared. So to that degree it was a surprise, not the actual decision itself. That wasn't a surprise. Is this what you wanted? Um, no, I, I can't advocate for anybody's death. Um, that, that goes against what I believe in. Um, and that's not my concern, um, what happens to him. Uh, he has, um, you know, he's incarcerated. Uh, either he'll spend the rest of his life in jail or he will, uh, you know, be killed um, if sentenced um, to, you know. So um, I have no control over that. That's not, that's not something that I spend any energy on. He's not in a position to hurt anybody else. Um, he is incarcerated and that will not bring my mother back, nor will it render my family safe. And so my focus is on the things that might have assisted him in his heinous crime, the things that are still uh, free uh, and available to others that might uh, uh, help to radicalize them and uh, you know have them act on their hate. How satisfied are you with how the federal government handled this case so far? Um, you know, um, based on what they've done in other cases uh, similar to this in terms of hate crimes, uh, Tree of Life Synagogue, uh, murderer in, um, in Pittsburgh and others, um, they sought the death penalty. I would have found it, uh, it would have been difficult to understand what would have made them do different in Buffalo. So this was always expected by myself and others, I'm sure, but uh, um, so it's not a surprise. Um, and they're doing what they do. They're doing what they have to do. Um, what I would say is that um, uh, for me, uh, the biggest thing that came out of today is that there will be a trial, which means that the evidence that the federal government has will be exposed. Um, and that's my interest, is that that evidence is exposed. Um, light is shown on those things, again, that uh, were a part of uh, the tools and the assets that he might have used uh, to do what he did. We want to expose those things and make sure that we, uh, d uh, you know, hold those things accountable. So um, that's what came out of this today for me. Uh, had he uh, sought uh, a life sentence, then uh, the perpetrator would have pled guilty and that evidence probably would have been put on a shelf somewhere. And uh, there are those people out there, sure. Um, but, um, you know, Everybody is not going to have a, uh, you know, epiphany or come to Jesus moment about any of these things. Some people, people were raised uh, in, in, in this ideology. People were taught this from a very young age. Um, and it'll be very difficult to, for them to see uh, anything else. So everybody, we don't need everybody, but we need those of good conscience those people who, who, who claim to be good people. Um, I have not carved out a space in my heart and mind for, for this person. You know, my goal is to uh, render my family and my community safe going forward. My goal is to make sure that my mother didn't die in vain.